Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today what we are going to be doing is we're going to be, uh, I was going to go over the character preview of Robin, but they actually wrapped it up in a nice little seven minute video for us, which is special I believe. I don't think they've done this before. Um, it's, it's literally just basically her preview, but in video form with actual gameplay footage. So we're definitely going to watch that instead. Uh, the, that just sounds like the obvious better choice. So uh, let's get into it. Um, and yeah, let, let's see what this new character does. In a world of turmoil, she mends the rips with her singing. Her many hits break the major music charts of the cosmos and continuously provide people with the strength to move forward. Walking under the limelight on the path of harmony, she uses music to erase misunderstandings and prejudices and songs to leave understanding up. and sympathy. She is the universally renowned superstar, the well-known songstress who will soon grace the Charmony Festival stage, Ms. Robin! Hell yeah! To delve further into the journey of this cosmic superstar, we are fortunate to have with us today Ms. Robin's brother, Mr. Sunday, who is also the organizer of the upcoming Charmony Festival. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, I have a video coming out tomorrow that is about Sunday. That's right. I think we're going to start seeing a lot more of him. Thank you, Mr. Sunday, for taking the time to chat with us. For the Charmony Festival just around the corner, is <laughs> everything going smoothly so far? Charmony Festival preparations are progressing smoothly, and we look forward to meeting all the guests very soon. Word on the street is Miss Robin has actually gone missing. And the truth is being covered up by the family. What is your opinion on these rumors, Mr. Sunday? <laughs> Rumor has it that Mr. Owlbert is a meticulous and scientifically minded journalist. I had assumed that Mr. Owlbert had actually gone missing. Word on the street is Miss Robin has actually gone missing. And the truth is being covered up by the family. What is your opinion on these rumors, Mr. Sunday? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's reporting. <laughs> now miss robin is a physical type character on the path of harmony she excels at channeling her voice through the power of harmony to resonate with beings across the world when she uses her basic attack okay. miss robin deals physical damage to a single enemy i think that's the best looking basic attack in the game in my opinion it, it probably yeah i think it is just to clarify it just looks there very are nice no dangers in Pentaconi's sweet dreams the enemies appearing on screen are merely extras used for the purpose of the program. Oh, okay. More meticulous and scientific than I am, Mr. Sunday. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Oh, please don't misunderstand. I just don't want to cause unnecessary panic for the viewers watching the program. <laughs> we need to be chill, carefree, and upbeat, right? Let's move on. When using her skill, Robin cheers on her allies with her singing voice, increasing the damage dealt by all allies for a certain number of turns. Okay. So th her skill is a damage buff for all allies. Okay. When using her ultimate, Robin can cause an ally to immediately take action as she enters the concerto state. Within that duration... What's that? ...ally to immediately take action as she enters the concerto state. Robin can cause an ally... Okay, to an ally. They take action as she enters the concerto state. I'm pretty sure that brings up all allies. Like, look at the turn. Look at the... Robin can cause an... Yeah, all of them just got action forwarded. Ally to immediately take action... We're still gonna read over the, uh, the kit. ...as she enters the concerto state. Within that duration, Robin will not have her own turn and can act, but her voice will accompany her allies. Won't that get annoying, right? If you own the character and she just keeps yapping and yapping and singing and singing. Gonna get annoying after a while, I think. <clears throat> she finds more comfort in knowing that her singing brings strengths to others than in receiving praise for her singing. Good googly <laughs> moogly. Side boob, am I right? The power of her singing voice, all allies' attack will be boosted, and each of the allies' attacks will carry bonus damage from Robin that is guaranteed to crit. Okay. So. She boosts all allies' turn. She makes all allies go next, boosts their attack for that turn, and then also guarantees that they crit? 
or she attacks with them in her attack Allowing prints. allies to excel in high frequency attacks to deal more damage within a limited number of actions when the concerto stay yeah okay it's, it's hitting as her as well it ends she's like joining them for their attack robin will immediately take action besides her talent to motivate with her voice my sister is also adept at listening and observing the efforts of her companions will bring her inspiration and strength. <laughs> Robin's talent allows her to regenerate additional energy after her allies attack enemy targets. Come That's really good. That's really good. So she's the first uh, character in the game where she regenerates when other people attack. Or she regenerates energy when other people do attack. That's really good. She'll be using her ultimate a lot. I'm sure an energy recharge rope. I. It, it'll either be two things. It'll either be... She gets so much energy from her talent that she doesn't even need it. Or it's so br no, I think I think you'd still want energy recharge rope. That way you just get energy even faster, faster. And then Yeah, and then you can just keep boosting your allies turn meter, make them take a million turns. With allies high frequency attacks, Robin can regain her ultimate usage more frequently. Mm -hmm. Robin's technique creates a special dimension around herself that lasts for a certain duration. Enemies within this dimension will not target Robin and will instead follow her. After so this is really good for grouping up enemies and then attacking them all at once. So instead of like having separate battles, uh, you just have like battle four out of four or like one out of four. Then you go through all four battles in a row. Entering combat with enemies. And then you kill them all, like like you're done with them all at the same time, instead of doing four individual battles. There. She would generate energy at the start of each wave. To summarize, as a harmony character, Robin's core mechanism lies in her ultimate, which allows all yep. allies to act immediately. Okay, yeah, all allies. I don't know why I said an ally the first time. But like, I saw the turn thing. I know. Combined with her ultimate's additional damage effect and her skill's damage boost effect, the team can deal higher damage more frequently within a limited number of cycles. Experiencing the beauty of harmony in her singing is best done by attending one of her concerts. <laughs> Indeed. We will now see a previous performance by Miss Robin where she collaborated with two other superstars. I'm sure there are fringe cases where um, Robin actually works uh, the opposite of good with other characters um but like uh has anti-synergy with some characters because some characters have like they buff themselves for a certain amount of turns and this is because it buffs everybody and you're not gonna have robin and three dps's most of the time you might have Ro if you have robin and ruan may giving ruan may a big turn boost isn't gonna do much for ruan may herself but it is going to make her skill, how she, whenever she uses her skill, she has uh, three rounds of the buff that she gives everybody. Uh, it's just going to make that skill uh, go way faster and she'll have to use her skill more. So, yeah, also with Fu Xuan, how Fu Xuan uses her skill and then it gives her team the defense, like the, the buff for two turns. Um... That'll actually expire faster if Robin keeps boosting her. This is a problem that we haven't had to deal with yet. This anti-synergy uh, situation isn't something that we've had to deal with in Honkai Star Rail because the only two units that can boost a like directly boost a turn uh, order is like through ways other than speed. Just say you know, yeah, a turn booster is. Bronya and Sparkle, and you're using them as their single target spells, and you're using them on your carries, obviously. With her leading the vocals, she sets the tone for the entire performance by using her skill first. In the midst of Miss Robin singing, her two partners receive a damage boost buff. The partners launch their attack, and with their help, Miss Robin's energy is now fully replenished. Cool. Before any discord notes can disrupt the harmony, she showcases her outstanding crowd control abilities and promptly unleashes her ultimate. Helping her partners reclaim control of the center stage. She then steps back behind her companions, continuously empowering them with their singing. Her radiance is dazzling, yet also gentle and harmonious. She prefers to stand behind her companions. I wonder if when she's back there, she is completely immune to being targeted by the enemy. Is that the case? If so, that is really, really strong. 
because she's immune to being CC'd or anything, right? That'd be crazy. Offering her harmony to them, together with her partner's performance, they reach the climax of the entire piece. In the midst of Miss Robin's song, her partners spring into action, and each of their attacks comes with extra damage. The Galactic yeah. Baseball, <coughs> I mean, uh, the Trailblazer activates their ultimate promptly, delivering a heavy blow in the middle of the song and triggering Madame Herda's follow up attack. Perfect coordination. The two dancers swiftly moved to the beat. Okay, yeah, so Robin will step back, do her song, and as many times as you can hit the boss as you can, do it. Because it's not a certain amount of tax for every... It's not like a buff that you put on to like, I'm going to put this buff on Herda, and after Herda goes twice, it's like a buff the last two turns. So after Herda takes, you know, two turns, she ends it. it Herda can skill, uh, follow-up attack, alt, follow-up attack, skill, do whatever as many times as she wants and it's however many and like it all works okay so that that's what you meant earlier when it said you know robin steps back starts singing and then your characters go in and they hit as much as they can their intricate steps complementing i hope everybody knows what i'm trying what, what i'm trying to say there. showcasing a harmony of their own with the accompaniment of Ms. Robin. I, I have a uh i have a the reason why I, why I don't really do like educational type content, even if I know, even if like I feel like I know what I'm talking about, is because I don't have a great way with words. I've been singing. Madam Herda delivers the final dance. Perfect curtain call. It's time to call it a day. What a splendid performance. <laughs> Can we get an encore? Mr. Owlbert's meticulous and scientific wow. commentary is also quite impressive. And I apologize for my previous comments. All right, they're just going to start yapping. So let's look at the preview real quick. Let's actually just look at this stuff. So here are the traces. When the battle begins, the character's action is advanced forward. Uh, okay. So the moment that the battle begins, so she tries to take the first turn. That makes sense. I, th I think he, I think Albert said that in the uh, video. When the concerto, when in concerto state, so this is whenever she alts and she steps back. Increase all allies' crit damage dealt when launching follow-up attacks. Okay, so that is why Herda was used for the example. So she is a follow-up follow attack synergizer, which is really good. Um, I have a lot of characters with follow-up attacks. I think I'm still going to skip... I'm definitely still going to skip Robin. Um, at least 99%. Uh, but that's really good. I also didn't pull for Adventuring, who was really good with follow-up attack characters. Kind of moving away from that being like the the one trick pony of my account. When well, when using skill additionally regenerates energy. Okay, so that's yeah. Okay, so whenever she skills, she gets energy for using her skill. All right, so this is what we saw. The technique is just she creates a circle around her, and enemies that are in the Circle will be charmed and will follow her to wherever she's going. Um, after entering battle when the dimension is active, Robin regenerates energy at the start of each wave. Okay. The basic attack is just physical damage to a single target. That's the same with every character, pretty much. Just deals. I'm excited to see if there's ever going to be a character where they're like basic basic attack, not like buffed basic attack. Um, just their regular basic does something other than deals damage to a single enemy in their weakness type. I think it'd be really cool if there was an ear edition character where their basic attack was actually an AoE of their of their type. That'd be crazy. Um, talent increase allies crit damage. So this is her uh, this is her passive. Increase all allies crit damage, so just naturally by existing she increases everyone's crit damage. Also, after allies attack an enemy, uh, attack enemy targets, Robin additionally regenerates energy for herself. So that's what we saw. So all enemies will just have permanent increased crit damage just for Robin existing. Uh, and then also she'll gain attack, or she'll gain some energy every time they attack. Um, and then... Okay, her skill. 
increases damage dealt by all allies by a certain number of turns. This duration increases by one at the start of Robin's turn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So this is very similar to Ruan May's buff, where it's not, you put in a tech, it, it's not like Sparkle or uh, Bronia's buff, where the buff goes on whoever you casted it on, and however many turns that they take, after they take a certain amount of turns, the buff is gone. Uh, it's Robin puts a buff on her on herself, well, on the team, but that shows through herself. Where every time Robin goes, the uh, the amount of turns left on the buff will go down. So that is really good. It's it's exactly like Ron May, guys. Ron May's buff doesn't lose a, you know, lose a charge or lose a turn whenever her teammate goes. It, it only loses uh, a turn whenever she goes. And then the ultimate. Ultimate Robin enters a concerto state and allows all allies except herself to immediately take action. Okay, so that's the all ally action forward. Like I said, it's, it's anti-synergistic with characters like Ruan Mei or Fushuan who put a buff on themselves who don't really want to, like, they don't get a lot of value out of being turn buff ordered. Like, or turn, tor, turn order buffed. They don't really get almost any value out of that at all. Like, what what's Ruan Mei going to do when you buff her turn order? Do a, like, 2k damage basic attack. Who cares about that? You know what is going to happen though? Her buff is going to lose a turn worth of duration. So, uh, if you ask Gotcha Smack, I'll tell you the same thing. Gotcha Smack was talking about this earlier. Uh, Robin enters the Concerto state, increasing all allies' attack based on Robin's attack. After every attack launched by allies, Robin will deal an additional, will deal additional physical damage based on her attack one time. The crit rate when the crit rate and crit damage of this attack have fixed values. While Concerto is active, Robin is immune to crowd control deba Okay, okay, so that's true. Like I said, whenever she stepped back, I was like, wait, is she gonna be immune to like debuffs and everything like that? She actually is. She's untargetable completely. Um she's immune to crowd control debuffs. Uh before Concerto ends, Robin will not enter her turn and cannot take action. She completely steps away from the battle, losing all the all the wins and the losses that come with it, you know? Wins as in you don't get debuffed anymore, losses as in you're not in the game able to constantly, you know, use your turn up. Use your uh, action forward and stuff. A countdown for Concerto appears on the action order. When the countdown starts its turn, Robin will exit the Concerto state and immediately take action. The countdown has a fixed speed. Okay, so not even speed can affect this. Overall, a really, really cool character. I personally am not pulling. I have an E16 Yun. I have an E2 Bronya. I have a Sparkle. I have a Ruan Mei. My account is stacked in terms of harmony. As much as, as much as I like the design of this character, and as cool as this character is, I would rather save for Firefly and Sam. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. If you dislike it, dislike it. And have a wonderful day. Peace.